Good morning, dreamers. How are you today? Carl is in North Carolina on his way to South Carolina today. Um, North Carolina holds a place of affection in my heart because I have some dear friends that I have met through the internet that live there. Um, and Dana and Glenn are some of the sweetest people. They have really walked through some difficult times with my kids with me and just encouraged and coached and loved along the way. Uh, Glenn is a podcast and online, I would call him pastor. He does not call himself that, but he um, hosts and organizes the What If Project and it is a multifaceted project. There's the podcast that goes with it. There's also some blog writing and some community involvement, online community involvement, uh, where you get to talk with and exchange ideas with um, real life people <laughs> and um, made some friends literally all around the world because of this What If Project. So basically, to sum it up, it's a project of asking what if God is bigger than the box we put him in? What if God is something more than what we have been taught? Like, are we limiting him with our finite understandings? Um, particularly those of us in a conservative evangelical world. What if there's more? for us um, spiritually. And so he looks at the what ifs and he doesn't tell you, you have to think there is. He doesn't tell you how you're supposed to land on things. He encourages questions. He encourages conversation and he encourages um, community with those that do not necessarily uh, agree with you and kindness in the conversation kindness in the discussion, the discovery, the journey. And so I've met some people that hold to um, Eastern Orthodox type mystical uh, ideas. Some people that have said, you know what, I, I just can't, I can't do this thing anymore. And church, uh, I've been so badly hurt, but yet I know God's there. So I don't know what to do with it. And there, we're all wandering a little bit, but remember, not all who wander are lost. And so as my guy wanders through North Carolina and South Carolina today, send us your stories. Tell us a fun story about North Carolina, if you have one, um, and South Carolina, if you have one. Tell us something encouraging, something fun. Um, I read a social media post today that just said the silent majority is real and it was bragging on um, the harshness that is in the world. And I'm just looking not to agree or disagree or whatever with that post. I'm just saying, I think it's time for some fun. It's time for some lightheartedness. It's time for some positive stories. And that's all I'm doing here. That's what I'm going for. Um, something beyond the heavy. So if you do have something heavy and you need prayer, then DM me and Carl and I will pray for you. Uh, but yeah, other than that, tell us a fun story that we can learn from or laugh at or just experience with you. Know that I love you. Bye.